Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Wake Up With Joy. Today we will be doing February the 4th reading, February the 4th. Let's first get started with prayer. Hallelujah. God, we thank you. God, we give you the highest praise today because you are worthy and deserving of it, God. God, we just declare and decree in our hearts that you are ours today and forever, that whatever you will for us, we accept cheerfully and obediently. Teach us your wisdom, discretion, and sound judgment for everything that we think, say, and do today. Help us to walk in the light of your word and give no place to darkness at all. Help us to be a good steward of our time and of the gifts and the calling upon our lives that we may be a blessing to all families and nations of the earth. Help us to win souls, make disciples, and expand your kingdom today. Help us to stay strong in faith, giving glory to God. Help us stay fully persuaded that you will perform what you have promised. Help us to manifest the eternal life that dwells within us. Help us to stay totally alive to God and dead to sin. As Jesus is, help us to be his ambassador in this world with his spirit, his mind, his body, his faith, his healing, his miracles, his deliverance, and his reconciliation. Help us to let your righteousness reign into eternal life. Help us to always love, always forgive, and always bless. Help us to be perfect as our Father in heaven is perfect. Help us to always do those things that please you. And help us to finish your work in the earth. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. All right, uh, let's jump right in. We're on um, Numbers, the third chapter. And we'll um, this um, reading today is going to go between several chapters. Numbers, the third chapter, Numbers 8, chapter, Numbers, the seventh chapter. Okay, and so we're going to go back and forth between those three chapters. So here's where you're going to see the benefit of the chronological Bible. Amen. All right, so it says, this is the account of the family of Aaron and Moses at the time the Lord talked with Moses on Mount Sinai. The names of the sons of Aaron were Nadab, the firstborn of Abihu, Eleazar, and, Ith and, and Ithamar. Those were the names of Aaron's sons. The anointed priests were ordained to serve as priests. Nadab and Abihu, however, fell dead before the Lord when they made an offering with unauthorized fire before him in the desert of Sinai. They had no sons, so only Eleazar and Ithamar served as priests during the lifetime of their father Aaron. The Lord said to Moses, Bring the tribe of Levi and present them to Aaron the priest to assist them. They are to perform duties for him and for the whole community at the tent of meeting by doing the work of the tabernacle. They are to take care of all the furnishings of the tent of meeting, fulfilling the obligations of the Israelites by doing the work of the tabernacle. Give the Levites to Aaron and his sons. They are the Israelites who are to be given wholly to him. Appoint Aaron and his sons to serve as priests. Anyone else who approaches the sanctuary must be put to death. The Lord said to Moses, I have taken the Levites from among the Israelites in place of the first male offspring of every Israelite woman. The Levites are mine, for all the firstborn are mine. When I struck down all the firstborn in Egypt, I set apart for myself every firstborn in Israel, whether man or animal. They are to be mine, and I am the Lord. Okay, so the latter part of that, that's where we see Numbers, the third chapter, verses 11 through 13, and Numbers 8, verses 16 through 18. Now we're in Numbers, the 8th chapter, verse 5, okay? And it reads, The Lord said to Moses, Take the Levites from among the other Israelites and make them ceremonially clean. To purify them, do this. Sprinkle the water of cleansing on them. Have them shave their whole bodies and wash their clothes and so purify themselves. Have them take a young bull with its grain offering of fine flour mixed with oil. Then you are to take a second young bull for a sin offering. Bring the Levites to the front of the tent of meeting and assemble the whole Israelite community. You are to bring the Levites before the Lord and the Israelites are to lay their hands on them. Aaron is to present the Levites before the Lord as a wave offering from the Israelites so that they may be ready to do the work of the Lord. After the Levites lay their hands on the heads of the bulls, use the one for a sin offering to the Lord and the other for a burnt offering to make atonement for the Levites. Have the Levites stand in front of Aaron and his sons and then present them as a wave offering to the Lord. 
In this way, you are to set the Levites apart from the other Israelites, and the Levites will be mine. After you have purified the Levites and presented them as a wave offering, they are, come, they are to come to do their work at the tent of meeting. Of all the Israelites, I have given the Levites as gifts to Aaron and his sons to do the work at the tent of meeting on behalf of the Israelites and to make atonement for them so that no plague will strike the Israelites when they go near the sanctuary. The Lord said to Moses, this applies to the Levites. Men 25 years old or more shall come to take part in the work at the tent of meeting. But at the age of 50, they must retire from their regular service and work no longer. They may assist their brothers in performing their duties at the tent of meeting, but they themselves must not do the work. This then is how you are to assign the responsibilities of the Levites. Moses and Aaron and the whole Israelite community did with the Levites just as the Lord commanded Moses. The Levites purified themselves and washed their clothes. Then Aaron presented them as a wave offering before the Lord and made atonement for them to purify them. After that, the Levites came to do their work at the tent of meeting under the supervision of Aaron and his sons. They did with the Levites just as the Lord commanded Moses. Numbers, the seventh chapter, beginning at verse 1. When Moses finished setting up the tabernacle, he anointed it and consecrated it and all its furnishings. He also anointed and consecrated the altar and all its utensils. Then the leaders of Israel, the heads of families who were the tribal leaders, in charge of those who were counted, made offerings. They brought as their gifts before the Lord six covered carts and twelve ox oxen, an ox from each leader and a cart from every two. These they presented before the tabernacle. The Lord said to Moses, accept these from them that they may be used in the work at the tent of meeting. Give them to the Levites as each man's work requires. So Moses took the carts and oxen and gave them to the Levites. He gave two carts and four oxen to the, Gersh the Gershonites as their work required. And he gave four carts and eight oxen to the Merarites as their work required. They were all under the direction of Ithamar, son of Aaron, the priest. But Moses did not give any to the Kohathites because they were to carry on their shoulders the holy things for which they were responsible. When the altar was anointed, the leaders brought their offerings for its dedication and presented them before the altar. For the Lord had said to Moses, each day one leader is to bring his offering for the dedication of the altar. The one who brought his offering on the first day was Nashon, son of Amenadab. Of the tribe of Judah. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels, one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Nashon, son of Aminadab. On the second day, Nathaniel, son of Zuar, the leader of Issachar, brought his offering. The offering he brought was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels, one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs as a year old, to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Nathaniel, son of Zuar. On the third day, Eliab, son of Helon, the leader of the people of Zebulun, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Eliab, son of Helon. On the fourth day, Elazar, son of Shador, the leader of the people of Reuben, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate 
weighing 130 shekels, one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb, a year old, for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs, a year old, to be sacrificed as fellowship offering. This was the offering of Eleazar, son of Shadur. On the fifth day, Shalumiel, son of Z Z Zurishah, died. I'm sorry, I messed that up. The leader of the people of Simeon brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels, and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Shalumiel's son, the son of Zerish Adai. On the sixth day, Elisaph, son of Deul, the leader of the people of Gad, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels, one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Elisaph, son of Deol. On the seventh day, Elishama, son of Amahud, the leader of the people of Ephraim, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels, one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five ram, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old, to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Elishama, son of Amahud. On the eighth day, Gamaliel, son of Pedasur, the leader of the people of Manasseh, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate, weighing 130 shekels, one silver sprinkling bowl, weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Gamaliel, son of Heda Zor. On the ninth day, Abaddon, son of Gideonai, the leader of the people of Benjamin, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels, one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with fine flour with oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs, a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Abaddon, son of Gideonai. On the tenth day, Ahizer, son of Amishadai, the leader of the people of Dan, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels, one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, one male lamb, a year old, 
for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, and two oxen, five rams, five male goats, five male lambs, a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Ahizer, son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day, Pegiel, son of Okron, the leader of the people of Asher, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels, one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with fine flour mixed with oil as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels, filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, two oxen, five ram, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Pegiel, son of Akron. On the twelfth day, Ahira, son of Enon, the leader of the people of Naphtali, brought his offering. His offering was one silver plate weighing 130 shekels, one silver and one silver sprinkling bowl weighing 70 shekels, both according to the sanctuary shekel, each filled with fine flour mixed with oil as grain as a grain offering, one gold dish weighing 10 shekels filled with incense, one young bull, one ram, and one male lamb a year old for a burnt offering, one male goat for a sin offering, two oxen, five ram, five male goats, and five male lambs a year old to be sacrificed as a fellowship offering. This was the offering of Ahira, son of Enoch. These were the offerings of the Israelite leaders for the dedication of the altar when it was anointed. 12 silver plates, 12 silver sprinkling bowls, 12 gold dishes. Each silver plate weighs 130 shekels, and each sprinkling bowl weighs, I'm sorry, each, let me start again. These were the offerings of the Israelite leaders for the dedication of the altar when it was anointed. 12 silver plates, 12 silver sprinkling bowls, and 12 gold dishes. Each silver plate weighed 130 shekels in each sprinkling bowl 70 shekels altogether the silver dishes weighed 2400 shekels according to the sanctuary shekel the 12 gold dishes filled with incense weighed 10 shekels each according to the sanctuary shekel altogether the gold ladles weighed 120 shekels the total number of animals for the burnt offering came to 12 young bulls 12 rams 12 male lambs a year old together with their grain offering. 12 male goats were used for sin offering. Total number of animals for the sacrifice of the fellowship offering came to 24 oxen, 60 rams, 60 male goats, 60 male lambs a year old. These were the offerings for the dedication of the altar after it was anointed. When Moses entered the tent of meeting to speak with the Lord, he heard the voice speaking to him from between the two cherubim above the atonement cover on the ark of the testimony and he spoke with him the lord said to moses speak to aaron and say to him when you set up the seven lamps they are to light the area in front of the lampstand aaron did so he set up the lamps so that they faced forward on the lampstand just as the lord commanded moses this is how the lampstand was made it was made of hammered gold from its base to its blossoms the lampstand was made exactly like the pattern the Lord had shown Moses. Okay, that concludes today's reading. So what is our takeaway? Well, this is about offerings, right? And offerings that were to be made to God. And, um, and these offerings were very, very specific, okay, about what was to be given. And we know that the Israelites are is a group of people, also known as the Hebrews, that come from who um, they come from Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, and Jake, and he had twelve sons, and so we get the twelve tribes of Israel from these twelve sons. So these twelve tribes represent this entire nation, this entire people group, and each tribe was expected to represent with an offering. Okay, they all brought the um, this the same thing. Okay. Um, notice there was no, I don't have it. I'm not sure about it. It was just brought. What am I saying is that, um, when we look at the nation of Israel and, and, uh, and the Hebrews, we use them 
as an overlay for what it is to be a part of the body of Christ. And so in the body of Christ, we all have, are supposed to worship God. We're all supposed to bring offerings to him. And just like none of the tribes in Israel were exempt, none of us are exempt. We have something to bring to God. We have something to offer him. What we have to offer is precious to him. And um, we should bring it to him and offer it up in a, with the attitude of worship and adoration. Notice the specificity, specificity which, which they were to give. And notice that they gave what was specified. So when God gives us uh, instructions about our giving, we are to give the way he instructs us to give. Not the way we think we should give, the way he instructs us to give. And that's what was happening with the, with the um, 12 tribes. They were giving the way they were instructed to give, and nobody was exempt. So we are not exempt. From wherever you're listening, listen to your leader, your pastor. If you don't have a pastor, you need to get in a church and get a pastor. <laughs> okay? Moses was basically their pastor. God talked to them talk to Moses and Moses gave the instructions that God gave. So, you know, pastors should be teaching about tithing and offerings. And so follow the instructions that you're taught in your local church. We do have uh, an obligation as born again believers to bring to God with the right attitude from our heart. Amen. All right. Well, that's all I have for today. So, Let's say our confession. Today is my best day. Today is a perfect day. I decree that today and all the days of my life that I am operating at my best, that I am bearing much fruit, that I am flowing with and following the direction of the Holy Ghost. I am strong in my body, energized and refreshed. I'm strong in my soul, alert, vibrant, and discerning. I'm strong in my spirit, acting in wisdom and revelation. I plan my way, and God directs my steps. I maximize my time and resources. I am purpose-driven. And I bring every project to its prosperous conclusion. My attitude is triumphant. My appearance is impeccable. My manner is cultured. I have a godly heritage. I am from good blood. My victory is apparent to all. But God's word is my constant meditation. My daily fellowship is with my heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. Join me tomorrow for more Wake Up and Joy. Redeemer is your name. Redeemer is your name. I need you to light the way, yeah. I want to be more like you. So clean and pure We started new with your way So light the way for me Light the way so I can see Light the way for me Light the way
your name just for 